Hello, this is going to be a short introductory video to using Monte Carlo simulation to um, calculate a simple levelized cost of electricity. So let's say we have a situation where we have a wind project. It's a 20 megawatt project. The capital cost is estimated to be 24 million, but it could be a, a range of costs. So the standard deviation for that is 2 million. In other words, it, there's a 95% chance that it's between 20 million and 28 million. There's a fixed O&M of 400,000. It's an annual cost with a standard deviation of 30,000. It's estimated to last 15 years with a um, standard deviation of two years. We'll start with an interest rate of 6%. The capacity factor is estimated to be 22%, but again, with some deviation to this. So the first thing we need to calculate is the capital recovery factor. So we can turn that 24 million of capital costs into an annual cost. So the capital recovery factor is going to be on the top, we're gonna to have the interest rate times one plus the interest rate to a factor of the number of years. Right, so that's the numerator. And the denominator is going to be 1 plus the interest rate to the number of years minus 1. That's my capital recovery factor. My annual megawatt hours is going to be equal to the size of my project times my capacity factor times the number of hours in a year, 8760. And now I get down here to my levelized cost. So that's going to be equal to my capital cost times my capital recovery factor. So that's turning that into an annual cost plus my annual O&M costs divided by my annual megawatt hours. And I get about $74 per megawatt hour. Okay. So now I know there's this, this potential variations. So for my simulation, there's no variation in this. So I'm going to stick to it's uh, 20 megawatts. And then here to get this range of values, I'm going to say equals um, norm inv. So this is going to give me a normal distribution with a mean of 24 million and a standard deviation of 2 million. And I'm going to use the rand function to randomly select from that distribution. So my probability is going to be random. I'm going to pull my mean, my standard deviation. Yes, close that bracket. Okay. So there it is again. So that's my, I'm going to use norm to, to draw from this normal distribution of the mean of 24 million standard deviation of 2 million, I'm going to randomly select from it. I'm going to do the same thing for this next one down here. The next one down here. Okay. Again here I'm going to say 0.06. That's going to be my interest rate. Here I'm going to randomly select from this again. Okay. My capital recovery factor. I'm just going to pull these both over. So I draw from that again. Just delete that one. Okay. My annual megawatts. Right. I'm going to pull this one over. Delete that. And then my LCOE. Once again, I can just drag that around over. Delete this one. And here is my first simulation. I would get my LCOE as 73.9. And you can go up to formulas and keep running it again to get different values in there. Okay. Well, what I want to do is now do a whole slew of trials and see what my distribution looks like. So I'm going to write up here trial. I'm going to do a series of numbers. I'll put one there, one, 
And now I'm going to make that into a series of 500. So I'm going to go to Fill, Series, Column, 1 to 500. Okay. And then I'm going to say LCOE. And in this spot right here, I'm going to say it's equal to this value here that I'm calculating. So my trial number one is going to be that 76, which I calculated in this first trial. But now I'm going to do many more trials. So now I'm going to highlight this whole table all the way down. So I hit Shift, Command, Down Arrow to highlight that whole thing. Okay. And I'm going to go into Data, What If Analysis, Data Table. And for row input cell, I'm going to say nothing. For column, I'm just going to choose any random spot. Say OK. So I'm going to populate that chart. There we go. Maybe I'll get rid of a few of these decimal places. And that's the variety I get here and what my outcomes are. So now, if I wanted to, I could take this list and make a nice histogram of my 500 trials. So go into Insert, Histogram, get a nice histogram of what that would look like. Call this uh, LCOE Outcomes, LCOE Distribution. I could also say, well, I want to get what, what my average is, my max. My min, I'm going to say equals average, oops, equals average. Just going to highlight this again. Equals max. You can also name this data, but I'll just do it the fast way. Oops, it didn't work. Let me do that again. equals min. So that's, I get my range. So it could be as low as $52 per megawatt hour. It could be as high as 130. Average is 76. Now every time you run this again, you're going to get a slightly different outcome. You could do use more trials, which will stabilize your outcomes a little bit. But I could keep saying calculate now. And my average is staying right around 76. Staying pretty close to 76, but you know, you can see there's some slight changes in my distribution. Now another thing I could do, so in this case, I only looked at an interest rate of 6%. But what if I want to try this at other interest rates as well? So in that case, I could make a data table with different interest rates and see what my outcome is. So let's say I want to try 0 0.04, 0 0.06, 0 0.08. Oh, this is very slow when I'm making a video. Let's just do those five different interest rates, okay? And then I'm going to have my trial numbers here. And I'm going to start down here because in this spot here, I'm going to put the LCOE calculation. So I'm going to start here. And go back home again, do my series, fill, series, column, 1 to 500. Okay. Now right here, I said that's equal to my LCOE. A little corner. Now I'm going to highlight this whole table. I'm going to go into data, 
what if analysis data table. But this time for row input cell, along the top row are the interest rates. So I'm going to say, let's put this in here so we can find out different outcomes if I change this interest rate. Column input cell again, and just choose a random spot so that you can do the operation. Right, okay. Should populate the table. There we go. So highlight this in a different color so we can see that that's we have across the top. Here are all my LCOE values. And we could calculate for each one of these an average and find out how the LCOE changes. We could also max min, we could do distribution, but let's just start with an average. So here we go. Oh, that didn't work. Oh yeah, it did. There we go. So depending on the interest rate, if there's a low interest rate, the average would be 68, 75, 83, 93, 103. Okay, I hope that is helpful. So long.